Well, Black China is the brand, and I'm a human, so Angela. <laughs> I'm not against like fillers, but for me, I feel like I kind of went overboard. It got to a point to where though my lips were so bad, even when I would smile, you still couldn't see my teeth. It's like now you can see my teeth. It's like, oh, I have teeth. <laughs> I'm doing it for myself, but then like encouraging other people that's even thinking about it. I wanted to reverse it. So I was like, let me take this out and get back to myself. Everybody's been really, really supportive. Like, even when I posted, I didn't think that it was gonna be so massive. Like, I posted, it was like maybe 3.30 in the morning, and I'm like, just try. I'm healing for my surgery, and I'm like, let me just post these. And I went to sleep, and I woke up, and it was like, Phew. like, but in a positive way. And then when I saw that, I'm like, this makes me wanna even be more open and vulnerable, like, with the people so they can see. So that's when I documented like me dissolving my face fillers and the lips. You know, as women, like we want to look the best and like as fake as possible and plastic and everything needs to be perfect and this and that, but that's not normal. You know, that comes from like insecurity and different things of that sort. And just being in that certain kind of life and lifestyle, kind of done with that type of lifestyle. And I just want to step into my own and own it. It's very, very, very dangerous. And it's illegal too, because you don't know what it is that they're put injecting you with. Rest in peace to the people that has passed away from this, from getting this procedure done. It's just not worth it. And that's why I keep telling people like, just don't even do it. I got it done when I was 19. I'm now 34. So thank God I didn't have like crazy health complications to where as I would get sick and things like that. But I have throughout the years, like fell ill to it. It would just kind of give me like a little fever and it would kind of like, get agitated and, and aggravated and kind of swell up on me. And there's like a very uncomfortable feeling. But for some girls, like you have discoloration of the skin, thinning of the skin, disfigurement. And in some cases, when the girls try to remove it, they can't remove it and they have to then now undergo a procedure where they cut the, your lower back or underneath your buttocks area and now scrape, scrape it out. So it's just not, it's not a good feeling, obviously, for the person that has to go through this. But it's like at the end of the day, don't even go, don't even do it. Like the gym is the best, the best place. Like go to the gym. Everything has been kind of trickling down for me and like lining up perfectly. So it's like now I'm just going by faith. I'm not even really going by like the Black China way or like the Angela way. Let me just let God lead me. Like trusting in God in every step that you take and not trying to figure it out like for yourself. I have my church home with my, my Pastor James. Hi, Pastor James, love you. Pastor and his wife, and I have Miss Alex and my prayer warriors that help me uh, along this way because you just can't do it by yourself. You have to have like a team to help you go through it because sometimes you might kind of fall short and especially with somebody that is uh, very familiar with the Bible, so it helps. Like it's, and then sometimes like I might need extra prayer that day. Like I'm on the phone, like I need y'all to pray extra hard for me today because I'm like going through it. So like all the prayers combined and being sent, it's just a beautiful thing. I just got sick and tired of being sick and tired of the same repetitive things. So I'm like, let me dig deep and see what it is that I'm doing wrong. Cause obviously it's something that I'm not doing right. Even if I think I'm doing something right, I wasn't, I wasn't doing the right thing. So now I'm like doing the right thing to the best of my ability so I could become whole. I'm not doing OnlyFans anymore. And you know, shout out to the girls that do do it, but I'm kind of past that. I'm past that. It's like one of those things I did what I needed to do at that moment because of the circumstances that I was in. And then it's like, you do it and it's just like, you gotta get out of it. And besides like me being baptized, like that's just not, that's just not what God would want me to do. Like, and it's kind of like, no, it's degrading. I feel like once I get to the point where I need to be at, cause I need, I feel like I need to be alone. Like I'm on my healing journey. So it's not a thing to where though it would be a bad thing if he was a part of it, but just, I need to just worry about myself so I can worry about my kids and my businesses and things like that. And I feel like once I'm complete with that or when I'm starting to feel more whole, then we're gonna link up. Like right now I'm just focusing, I'm just focusing on myself. Robert and Michael has never been like no bad blood. You know what I mean? Or nothing negative. It's just like two different people on two different paths. One day those paths had collided. You know, that's how we got the babies, but no. <laughs> yeah.
but just like moving forward in 2023 like it's all positive vibes like yeah no more situations I don't post them a lot because I see like some of the comments and things like, oh, she don't have her, never have her kids, da, da, da. I'm like, yeah, right. Yes, I do. I just don't post my kids. I want to keep their privacy, their privacy, you know? And a lot of my friends and like other people that I know, they're like, hey, are you going to put like modeling or television or this and that? And I'm like, no, unless they come to me and say, hey, this is something that I want to do. And then I'm going to ask them more questions like why? And then we'll really kind of get to like the, the bottom line of it. Why is it that they want to do it? And I'm going to explain to them everything that comes with it. But for me to like just throw my kids out there and be posting them on social media and things like that, that's just something that I'm just not into. So that's why y'all don't see a lot of my kids. But I think I'm going to start posting them more because I'm starting to be a little bit more comfortable with the internet because the internet sometimes can be very, very, very mean. Like Danny, like he's really a nice guy. You know what I mean? Like he's a really genuinely nice guy. I just feel like social media will like change people, you know? But like in person, like the most sweetest person. I just blame like the internet and, and people bullying too. Like at the end of the day, that's still bullying and I don't condone violence like at all. It takes one little thing to like really end, end your life. So I just want everybody to just stay safe, man. Nothing comes to a surprise, but I just don't wish that on nobody. Like not even him, it doesn't matter. Like forgive and forget, you know? I feel like, you know, if anything, I think that 6 9 needs to come on here and sincerely whenever he feels it in his heart to go and apologize to the people that he hurt. You know what I mean? And I think that that will kind of clear up a lot of things and then start walking in a different light because that light is not it. And I can tell you from my own self, like you don't want to go down that road. No, not at all. But that's always been my personality. I don't know, it's a tourist thing. I just see stuff for what it is. You can't make somebody want to be with you. I've always been like a driven person. I just looked at it like, okay, now it's time for you to really get out there and fend for you and your son and not worry about anything that that comes in the way. Just keep focused that way. You know what? I feel like everything is like, has this time and a place for everything. Opening up my new business. I'm actually launching it tomorrow. It's called Hearts Pier. And it's my luxury hairline. Luxury hairline extensions and wigs. So I'm really excited about that. I would want all the women and men out there to know like your present is a present. Don't worry about like the past. If things happened to you in the past, don't let that dictate your present. And then also to like plan everything, like plan it all the way through from A to Z and never have like a second plan. Always keep a first plan. Cause if you keep a second plan, then it's, you're just gonna start to doubt yourself and follow like the foundation, like set your foundation so that nobody can ever, ever, ever take that away from you. And don't take no short car, sh short cuts. Do it the hard way. Do actually do it the hardest way so that you could be more um, appreciative of your own business and of your own self and of your own strength. Cause once you're like strong within, like mentally and physically and emotionally, anything is possible. Whether it's good, bad, ugly, we're not gonna have a good day every day. You know what I mean? And also to count your blessings and really see everything that you're grateful for. Like write it down. Like I'm grateful for hot water, a warm bed, clean towels, clean socks, literally running water, bottled water. It's all these small things that we kind of like overlook. And I see a lot of people complaining today. Like all the complaining, you have to cut it out. You have to rewire your brain set so that you can can become successful. So you can get that new car, that, that new job, or, or you know, be that inspiration or be a better mom, better uh, spouse, whatever it is that you're trying to do. The way God is leading you. I feel like it's not a lot of leaders today in, in America. So if I could be any type of, you know, inspiration to the American culture, America, like I'm really happy with that. And I'm very, very, very appreciative of just everything, like the whole, just everything from everything. And it's just like, wow. And I do have so much more to offer and I can't wait to give it to y'all.